Hello! Did you know that in 1979, a full ten years before the release of the Nintendo Game Boy, you could actually buy a handheld gaming system with interchangeable games and an LCD screen? Well, you could, and here it is. It's the Microvision! The computer game system. Includes the fast action game cartridge of Blockbuster, ready to play. Yes, it's some version of Breakout. Well, that's an interesting thing. It appears to be controlled via some sort of variable resistor at the bottom. It's a big slab of stuff, and it's got weird buttons on it. What more could a child ask for? Ages 8 to adult, one or more players. How more than one person will play this at once, I do not know. Maybe somebody has to press the buttons while somebody else twiddles the knob. Hmm. Microvision, the latest innovation in electronic games. This amazing system is a handheld console and a range of interchangeable cartridges. Simply remove one and snap in another. See back for details. Interestingly, half the actual unit seems to come away. You take away the screen and the buttons and everything to give you a unique gaming experience each time with special buttons like Windows, Suf, Tud and power. Um, right, what are we looking at? 1979 Milton Bradley, yeah, mm, nothing interesting on the sides. What's on the back? Sell us some more games, Mr. Man. A handheld computer console with action control knob, liquid crystal display screen, push buttons, thing. yeah, yeah, it's a master console, with self-contained cartridges. Self-contained cartridges, he said so the people could see it. Five exciting separate games. Microvision needs two 9-volt batteries. Nine, two 9-volt batteries? You could run the whole of Croatia off that these days. Blockbuster. Fast action game of skill included in this box with Microvision Master Console. Marvellous. And it weighs seven stones, apparently. Select play speed, blah, 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 blah. keep the walls... Yeah, we all know this game. On-screen scoring will show you who is champion. I see. Surely it will just show you the score from your game. Go on then, the cartridges. Currently five by the looks of it. And when I say currently, I mean in 1979. Blockbuster. Yep, we've seen that one. Microvision bowling. Ten pin bowling at your fingertips. That would be quite interesting. I wonder how that would work. Shooting star. Use control and skill to shoot targets of various speeds, sizes and altitudes out of the sky. Again, wonder what that's like. Is that some kind of Space Invaders thing or something a bit more technical? Pinball. I oh, know that is fascinating. How the hell are they going to get pinball to work on this? I do not know. But I do actually have that game to show you shortly, so we shall find out. And Connect 4, the great strategy game. Yep, I've got that one as well. I imagine I can guess how that will work. Answer, quite a lot like Connect 4 does. Right, let's have a look then. Wow, now that is a system. It's like a sort of house brick, only with a knob on it. Brilliant. Also in the box we have horrible faux leather carrying case, which everything in the 70s had to have with it by law. Um, instruction manual for Blockbuster. I think we can probably get our heads around that, to be brutally honest with you. And uh, this is useful. Warranty cards. <laughs> Uh, dead unit, lights faulty, sounds faulty, control key not functioning. Marvellous, that sounds absolutely brilliant. And date of purchase, December 1980. Probably a little bit out of warranty by now. Go on then, let's see what this disturbing slab of a thing is like then. Um, answer, huge. Buttons, hmm, not exactly very nice, obviously pushing in a membrane below. Yeah, the knob feels, uh, well, knob-like. And on the back, ah, that's your contrast there for the screen. Warning, read the instructions for cautions in using and storing macro, microvision. Not macrovision, that's like copy protection for DVDs. And sure enough, two bloody 9 volt batteries. Astonishing. Right, well, we should probably play some Blockbuster then. I've forgotten how to turn it on. Ah, here we are. Oh, exciting. He lied. Come on then. Um, yeah, that'll do. Right, well, it's got quite a nice analogue feel the little bat moving there. Quite like it so far. And go! Piss. And go! Hmm, notice a pattern developing here. So if I move very slightly. Hey! Bloody hell, it's fast! Oh, crikey! Ah, this is really difficult! I didn't pick up on this when I was testing. Bloody hell, come on! Oh, and other noises. Come on. <clears throat> right. Well, first impressions. <laughs> it's remarkably fast and smooth, particularly with the analogue controlled little bat at the bottom. But I do think you would need a quite a considerable amount of practice at it, because it's so bloody fast. Um, yeah, it's set to slow, I think, as well. I'd see what the fast mode is like. Probably just a blur. The screen's not too bad. I mean, it's far better than something like the Gamecom, which came, like, bloody 20 years later or something. Oh, uh, you know what? Ah, uh, do. 
Shit! Fnick! Oh, bloody hell, I'm running out of stupid noises to make now, come on! This is the most difficult game since that one that's really hard. I tell you, this makes Dark Souls look like bloody um, Metal Gear Solid or something. Come on! Ugh. Well, there's one good thing about this. No BP music. Bloody hell, that's a difficult game. Come on, I'm have one quick last go. Yeah. Oh, bloody wars. <laughs> Come on, I was under that one. Crikey. Ah, oh, forget it. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to chalk that one down to being quite difficult. Let's try a different game. Namely, pinball. I'm really intrigued to see how this works. All the action of an arcade. Marvellous. Um, here's the device. That's literally just a bloody great plug-in thing, all your electrics in there, presumably. Um, probably won't need the instructions, we shall see. And, oh bloody hell, um, haven't oh no, I've knocked the camera, everything's ruined. Um, I've never actually taken the... If this isn't obvious, I may have to look in the instructions just so I don't blow it up. Oh no, it comes off very easily, there we are. Ooh, look, screens and metal and things. Go on, pinball. Show us what a game of pinball's really like. Marvellous. Oh, different sort of buttons, look. Um, more directly onto the membrane. And we've got four pins on the pinball thing already. Hmm. What does that actually say in the box? Pinball. All the action of an arcade. Hmm. A very crap arcade that doesn't exist. Yes, on the back of the box is just white. Not quite as pretty as the other one. Go on, then. Let's turn her on and play some pinball. Oh. Same thing as the bloody last one so far. Ball speed paddle. Paddle? Surely it should have flippers. Go. Okay, I'm controlling a pixel, that's odd. And away it goes. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. It's the same bloody game as the blockbuster thing. Just, instead of having blocks, you've got four pins that don't move. And the screen at the top is a little bit angled. Well, it's a lot slower and easier, to be fair, but... Um, bloody hell. Beginnings make me wonder, actually, if I did have the difficulty up on the last one in some manner. Oh, this is ridiculous. What a tedious excuse for a game. Imagine if you'd paid however much these things cost in 1979. Man. All the fun of a bloody arcade. My anus. Yeah, enough. Enough. Oh, dear. That's, that's such a disappointment. But on the plus side, it has got a weird beige colour, like a business computer from 1978, so that is something. All right, that can come off immediately. I'm not impressed. I can't get it off now. Oh no, I'm permanently stuck with pinball. Don't even joke about that. Oh, crikey, hang on. It really doesn't want to come, actually. Come on. Come on. Mm. I think we're going to have to cut away. God, it's the little clip had got stuck. Ah, there we are. Much better. Right, last game is, as I mentioned earlier, Connect Four. No idea what this is like. It's still wrapped and probably worth a million pounds as a result. And now it's soon to be worth a lot less because I'm opening it up. Right, up we come. There's a far nicer box than that pinball one, look. Although the back is on backwards for some reason. Play this great strategy game against Microvision's computer brain or try to beat an opponent. It takes skill to get four in a row and win. Not really skill, it's more of a strategy thing, isn't it? Very bad. Eight to adult again. Um, what was the pinball one mark today? Oh yeah, eight to adult. They're all eight to adult. Right, that's easy. Line up your marker in the chosen column. Drop your marker cleverly to outward Microvision's computer brain. They do like that phrase, computer brain, don't they? Very 70s and high tech. Um, so you've got big squares for one, the other person has like a weird... Hmm, this is the problem with a lack of colours and a very low resolution, isn't it? It's basically four blobs versus two blobs. Who will win and who will care? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, here we are. Here's how you, uh, you can um, pass it round for multiplayer. That's how one or more players comes into it. Not really the same as multiplayer, is it? But there we go. And inside, oh, a pleasing bright blue colour. And instructions. Mm. Oh, another warranty card, look. 90 days. 90 days from when this was bought in 1843. Um, I've just noticed, look on the cellophane, still got the price. £14.50, bloody hell. This must be the best game ever made. Um, imagine how much of that would have been in 1979. Well, £14.50, but it was worth more then because of inflations and stuff. Right. Uh, click, click. 
oh god, that didn't sound too healthy actually. And this bit's come off. Um, now, even weirdly, I don't know if it's because of the colour or something, but the plastic on this one doesn't feel quite as high quality as the others. Go on then, let's play a game of Connect Four where I don't really watch what I'm doing. Right, I can't see a bloody thing. That's not a good start. Um, oh, it is there. Oh, you don't have to adjust the contrast separately for every game, do you? That's, that's just crazy. I'm trying to adjust it, but doesn't be making a whole lot of difference, actually. Oh, yes, here we are. I've made things far worse. Fantastic. Right, if I turn it up like that... Can you see? Very, very... Yeah, there we are. That'll have to do. Right. Um, start. Ah, there we are. That's me at the top, is it? And that's obviously the drop button is the one with the down arrow. That makes sense. Fantastically opaque controls. One or two will be games. A or B. Power. Comp. Down and... Cum. Marvellous. Right. I want to go there, please, Mr. Computer Brain. Oh, Madison. Yeah, this one's really hard to see as compared to the others. I would not be pleased with my uh, £14.50. Marvellous. I done put a block. Oh, computer's put one there. I'm going to put one on top, just to be rude and dominant. Where's he going? Oh, there. I see. I'm going to put one there. Where's he going now? The suspense. He's going there to block me off. Oh, that's actually quite sensible. Um, well, I'm going to go there then. So, no. Nah. Oh, let's give him three in a row, isn't it? Do Mind you, I can do the same there. Ha, 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 ha. Wow, it's all go here, isn't it? Can you even see this at home? I can barely see it with the naked eye. Um, I'm going to have to go there, or he shall get four. And he's going to have to go there, obviously, or I will get four. Um... What now? I am going to go there. Because it was already there, and that involves less knob twiddling. Um, oh, he's got three in a row there. There. No, he's got nothing. Um, that looks dangerous. I'll block that one off. Oh my god, this really isn't very exciting. Is it? So, probably quite clever for the late 70s, I suppose. Um, hmm. I can barely see where I'm supposed to be going. Where, where is the flashy cursor? Oh, there it is, far right. Okay, oh my god, do we have to continue with this? I imagine there's nobody left watching by now. Um, fuck it, let's get through this quickly. I'm going to put one there. And that enables him to block my best chance of winning. That was a bit stupid. Um, I can't quite see where I am. Ah, oh, good, that was the right one. Oh, let's just get this bloody thing over with, shall we? Crikey. Um, I... Actually, I've now got to the point where I can't tell which are my blocks and which are his. This is a severe problem. Um, yeah, I can tell a few around the middle, but not really the ones around the edges. Um, that lets him win, I think. Ah, balls! I'm stymied by a lack of being able to tell which are my pieces and which are his. Well, that's a weird thing, isn't it? Um, it's a strange, very obscure system. I genuinely didn't know it existed until I sort of saw one on eBay and spent a billion -ty million pounds buying one, because they're quite rare. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of that for the time. It's amazing, I suppose. But the downside is, I mean, there's not much thought gone into a lot of the games. I mean, the pinball thing is appalling. It's just like the free game, only massively cut down and inferior. And then you've got this weird technical problem with the screen on that one, where, well, frankly, you can't see what the bloody hell's going on, which wasn't a problem with the others. I mean, it's interesting to see the Game Boy before there was a Game Boy, but uh, I think in response to this unit, the only noise to be made is... Mm. I just spent ages fitting and refitting this in the hope it would make the screen more legible. No, it didn't. But on the plus side, I did notice that one of the screws inside has gone rusty, even though the box was still sealed. Well done, everyone.